Hello YouTube, welcome back to RPG Dawn. On this episode, we are going to discuss how to create enemies. First, on the left, right click and make a new map. Name your map and make sure the tile set is set to dungeon. Click OK. Click the map tool and create your dungeon. I'm going to create a random dungeon by right clicking my dungeon, clicking generate dungeon, then I decide if I want dungeons with rooms or a maze-like dungeon. I'm going to choose rooms. Next, decide the wall style you want and the floor style you want. When you're ready, click OK. Now that we have our dungeon, we'll want to create our enemies. Go to the cogwheel button, then choose enemies. You should have four standard enemies. To change the amount, go to change maximum. You can lessen the amount or increase the amount. I'm going to put it to five. Putting it at 5 gave me an additional slot. I'm going to click that slot to create my new enemy. First I'll name the enemy. Now I'll decide on an image for my enemy. Double clicking the box makes this screen appear. I can choose any picture to make it my enemy. I can change the color by sliding the hue bar left or right, or by changing the number. I can now decide on if the enemy should give any experience, gold, or drops once it's defeated. I'm going to change the experience to 5, the gold to 5, and I want it to drop a potion. I can now change the probability of the item dropping. If it's at 1, every time you defeat it, it'll drop it. 1 out of 2 is a 50% chance, and so on. I'll click OK when I'm ready. You can experiment with the stats to create your own damage system. A good way to change difficulty on the monster without worrying about stats is by either increasing or decreasing the maximum HP. I can now decide what actions I want the enemy to perform during a battle. To do so, I double click on one of the rows. I decide what I want them to do and their rating. Higher rating means higher likelihood that the attack will be performed that turn. I can also give it a condition to the attack. I can set it to always to mean that there is no condition. We're going to do that for this tutorial. I'll change this rating to 6. Since there are two always actions, your game will decide on its own which to use on the turn of the enemy. But there's a higher likelihood it will use guard because of the higher rating. Now we can move over to the trait bar. The trait bar is what controls all aspects of your enemy, such as their accuracy, what type of attacks they use, and if they have any potential to dodge attacks. I'm going to delete the traits here and show how to do them. Double click on the first row. For this tutorial, we're only going to work with the parameter and attack bar. On the parameter, check EX parameter. There are several things you can experiment with, but for now we're just going to click hit rate. This controls their accuracy. 100% means they'll never miss and 0% means they'll never hit. We're going to set it to 95. Click OK when you're ready. Now onto evasion. Double click the next one, go back to parameter, EX parameter, and evasion rate. We'll set that one to 5%. We'll then make a new row, go to attack, then attack element. You can decide if you want elemental types of attacks, or a physical attack with your weapon. We're going to pick physical. You can also set if you want them to make additional attacks in one turn. To do so, double click on the bar, go to attack, attack times, and add a number here. The number here is how many additional attacks they will make. They will always start off with one, so adding one will make them have two attacks in one turn. Click OK when you're ready. Once you have your enemy ready, click apply. Now OK. This concludes this episode. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of what you would like me to make a tutorial out of, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.